the Hubble Space Telescope orbits just 330 miles above the Earth, but it stares billions of light years into space and is changing the way we look at the universe and our past. Hubble can see 10 times more clearly than the best of Earth-bound telescopes. Because it orbits above Earth's atmosphere, it can observe celestial objects that radiate only in wavelengths of infrared, ultraviolet, and gamma rays. These are largely screened out by our atmosphere. A minor imperfection in the telescope's primary mirror nearly blinded the project, launched in April 1990. Three, two, one. And we have liftoff, liftoff of the Space Shuttle Endeavour on an ambitious mission to service the Hubble Space Telescope. Astronauts rescued and repaired the telescope with a pair of corrective lenses. This blurry shot of a galaxy was taken before Hubble's repair. This is the same galaxy after the fix. That Hubble records images of faraway galaxies at all is noteworthy. Until the 1920s, astronomers believed that our own Milky Way galaxy made up the entire universe. Then, in 1924, a young astronomer, Edwin Hubble, working with a 100-inch telescope, looked at the universe from California's Mount Wilson and saw something more. Hubble determined that distant fuzzy patches, long thought to be clouds of dust and gas, were in fact hundreds of galaxies similar to our own. More astonishing, Hubble identified a pattern of movement in this galactic crowd. Galaxies are rushing away. The universe is expanding. Hubble's namesake has vision beyond all earthly imagining. From the top of a very tall building in New York, the telescope is capable of seeing a dime on the tip of the Washington Monument. Hubble moves through space at five miles per second. It records digital images which modern astronomers eventually receive over the internet or on tape rather than through a lens. Well, you know, every time you look at some object, many of these objects are old friends which you've studied for years. And when you look at them with the Hubble, suddenly you're able to see them much more clearly. So there's this enormous excitement when the data comes in. You don't know what you're going to see. One old friend, the star group Orion, was named by ancient Greeks after a mythological hunter. Greeks imagined a sword hanging from the celestial hunter's belt. Hubble sees something more fantastic. Light 1,500 years old, or 1,500 light years away, reveals a star nursery inside Orion's sword. This nebula coddles over a thousand hot young stars bursting with energy. Hubble's infrared images penetrate the nebula's dust and show off the stars. Closer looks reveal fuzzy halos of dust and gas around the stars. Astronomers believe these rings are the beginnings of new planets taking shape. Could the birth of our own Earth have looked like this? As Hubble takes us further and further into space, and that much farther into our past, thousands of galaxies create new questions. This is just a section of the deepest image ever taken of the universe. 276 exposures, taken over 150 orbits, were combined to show galaxies as many as 4 billion times fainter than the human eye can detect. Each one holds billions of stars. Hubble has given us glimpses of the birth of our own world and millions of new worlds to explore.